Hey YouTube, what is up? I am Mike. Thank you once again for watching and thank you for several of you recommending this band in the comments of other videos. Um, so this is another band from Japan. Looks like it's uh, all ladies again. Um, the name of this band is, I think they pronounce it Nemophila. I think from what I can tell. I tried to find some interviews and um, <clears throat> the interviewers pronounced it Nemophila and the uh, artists did not correct them, so I'm assuming that is how they pronounce it. Uh, that is actually, uh, an, uh, there's a flower that's native to the Western U.S. and I guess more not just the Western U.S. Um, I believe it's actually pronounced Nemophila. At least that's what it seems like. It doesn't matter, whatever. I was just curious what, uh, you know, what it was. I've seen these flowers before. Uh, didn't know what they were called. I've never heard anybody say the word before, so I'm not positive about that. But the little quick research I did sounds like it. Anyway, um, they haven't been around very long. Uh, sounds like 2019, but they've already got three records out. Uh, sounds like they went kind of viral with uh, a bunch of singles first and then they got picked up by a British record label. They combine those into a record, and then they've had a couple studio records since. Um, this one is called Change the World. Uh, it's an official live video, pretty recent release. I always like to see what a band sounds like live before I get too deep into them. So uh, let's see what uh, Nemophila or Nemophila or whatever uh, sounds like. Damn right into it. Uh, also, um, I, this one is in uh, Japanese. I don't think from from what I can see in the brief interview stuff that I watch, it doesn't look like um, they speak uh, English or at least not comfortably enough to uh, to do an interview in English. They have also been uh, to the U.S. briefly uh, earlier this year. None of those tour dates were anywhere near me, like hours and hours and hours away. So right off the bat, these tones are great. Um, their guitar tones, that's that's the perfect damn tone. So many people, um, if you're if you're a metal player and you you know a guitar player, most people starting out have this really wrong perception of what their tone needs to be in metal. Most people have way too much distortion, way too much compression, nowhere near enough mids too many highs, too many lows. That's a damn good guitar sound. And the bass sound, it has that crunch on it, which I love. I'm really digging her vocal tone as well here. Drummer seems seems like she's going to be great. This is, I'm, I'm glad somebody recommended this. I'm really digging this so far. All right, I'm going to take this at face value and believe that they're doing those harmonies because that's really good. It sounds exceptionally good for live. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fault them if they used backing tracks for that. Honestly, it could be a combination of the two, but that sounded really good. Some really nice little uh, previews there, I'm hoping, of what's to come uh, guitar-wise. Uh, the one on this side was just adding in some nice little flair there. Tasty. I think they're playing seven string guitars too.
Nice, nice. And I love how just they look like they are having so much fun. And that just an audience feeds off of that. So awesome guitar players. And what I really like about it is there's, they're both clearly, especially this one, I, I can't tell for sure based on what I saw in the other one, but especially this girl, she is a clearly super talented lead player. She's got the capability of doing the arpeggios and all that. Yet early in the solo, she didn't just go nuts with it. She let it build with a lot of bends and a lot of just really nice phrasing before showing off that technical skill. And that's just, that's, I like to see that rather than somebody who just, you know, just goes at it from the, from the get go. I want to hear some of that again. Yeah, it starts with just like a nice, simple, like old blues cliche thing. Yeah, then, then there you go. Yeah, I don't think they're using any backing tracks here. This sounds like this is all legit live. There may be some backing tracks on that vocal that or it was just added later to just thicken it up because there is just a lot there. It sounds great. And even if they are, I have no beef with that when it's done tastefully. You know, that's that's fine. Um, also, too, uh, lyrically on this, this seems to be um, a theme that I see commonly uh based on the little bit that I've seen so far, but uh, it seems to be a common theme um, with a lot of these, uh, you know, Japanese rock bands where the songs are just a lot of, uh, you know, kind of self-empowerment, get off your ass, um, and a lot about uh, music itself. Um, so I don't know if it just happens to be the songs that I've uh, looked at so far. Um, if you agree or disagree with that in the comments, let me know that it uh, just seems to be something I've noticed. Very cool ending. I want to hear that again.
Nice, nice. That sounded great. That sounded great. Um, maybe I'll do this song next. Uh, they've apparently got, looks like from the same show, Seize the Fate official live video. So, yeah, um, that was that was great. Um, and again, I'm not even surprised anymore because I do, I do know there are a ton of great, um, especially female uh, metal and rock bands out of Japan. And here, this is just yet another example. If you've got more you want to send my way, I am... Uh, thoroughly enjoying exploring you know all these bands from around the world that just don't get much attention in the u.s the way they should um this is another great example of that thank you so much for watching my name is mike uh, if you like the video remember to like and subscribe and i hope to see you next time thanks